Well, this doesn't look like the Mayberry that I remember. Mayberry, North Carolina, home of the uh, Andy Griffith Show. No. <laughs> but the, uh, you know, Mayberry was a fictional, a fictional town. It was a movie set. But there are some things here, and so this is not Mayberry. There's some things. There are some things named, you know, the Mayberry Bakery, or you know that sort of thing. There, there are some things here named Mayberry, but because uh, this is the home of uh, Andy Griffith, this is actually Mount Airy, uh, in North Carolina. So, and there is the Mayberry, you know, there's the Mayberry this and that, uh, in honor of and such. The next right onto Worth Street. The uh, there, the Mayberry, there's a Mayberry Jail and Courthouse, which. I understand is a is a really good uh, replication of you know the sheriff's office and you know where old Andy and Barney uh... good morning girl and I think they have tours uh, squad car tours uh, different places in town and uh, what else uh, there's a museum with a lot of memorabilia so we're, we're gonna check some of that stuff out today Okay, right here is uh, a place called Wally's Service. Turn right onto East Wilson Street, then your destination will be on the right. Uh, that would have been where, where we just parked right here, just right out front here. The Mayberry Courthouse. So the insides are supposed to be a good uh, replica, not the, that doesn't look like the outside, does it? <laughs> yeah, this does not look like the Mayberry that we know. Well, we're a little lucky right now, the wind died down. The uh, there are wind advisories out today, and it was windy earlier. And uh, yeah, the temperatures have dropped, plus the wind. It was pretty chilly for a while. But wow, uh, Wally Service, look, Goober, Goober says, Goober says, hey. Hey. <laughs> Goober. I think there's some memorabilia too with uh, uh, some Goober stuff over in the other museum. And other, other characters, obviously. But uh, look, they have like a mural painted here that makes it look like one of the squad cars or uh, Indian service. Yeah. The uh, Acme gas pumps. So, and this is a gift shop, so maybe we can find something. Look here. Uh, get a squad. Get a squad car. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, Otis. <laughs> Gamer. And Goober. <laughs> okay, you remember the band, uh, the Darlings? Uh, their truck's actually outside. But, uh, let's, go, let's go out there for a second. He was actually a big one Okay, it's, uh, yeah, uh, okay, you know, it's t typically, uh, uh, typical, uh, you know, uh, gift shop stuff. Okay, so you remember the Darlings? You remember the band, the Darlings? But, uh, it was that band from, lived up in the hills, and, uh, they had the, the, the one girl, uh, I forget what her name was, but she had the, she had a thing for Andy for a while. But the, the Darlings that featured on, uh, or featured on the show, is uh, the band, I mean, it's an actual band, and it's named the Dillards. So if you, if you want to see more of that, um, picking music, uh, there's probably videos on YouTube <laughs> of the Dillards. All right, let's go see Andy's office. Hopefully this is open. It is. This is a nice replica, actually. Except I don't think they had the cooler, but let's let's back up here a minute. Uh, <laughs> you know, it seems a little small, but uh, you know, not bad. It's a good similarity. It's a very good likeness of of the old uh, <laughs> of the old sheriff's office. Love it. You know, it's uh, high tech. Detective policing uh, 
uh, equipment. Maybe it's a, a real, real tape recorder for, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, it's wire. It's recording wire. Um, that's to record confessions. <laughs> okay. And radio the, the patrol car. <laughs> this is pretty cool. And of course, oh look, bricks. I don't remember um, Ernest T. Bass. He was known for throw, throwing bricks and breaking windows. Bricks and rocks. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the gels. <laughs> the gels, uh, a little different. I don't remember being TV in there, but at least it's not period correct. And, uh, that's a good location for that. Is uh, Otis. <laughs> Otis. Uh, this was the second home, you know. Otis the town drunk. He can come let himself in and... Uh, yeah, and what a what a place to keep the key, right? Uh, you'd be right here and say, "Hey, I need, I need out. Let me uh, just reach around here and grab the key and let myself back out." Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> I get a kick out of this. I, uh, yeah. Sure, Taylor was speaking. You know, that was um, that was pretty good. I, I I really really enjoyed that. And it's uh, fix it shop. I don't know what else is around here. Uh, that's just a uh, just a business of uh, I think that's a paint. I forget what that is now, but it's it's not related. It's just one of the town businesses here in Mount Airy. But I want to walk around this other side here. I think I've seen something around back here. Now it just might be an old shed, just because it's an old shed in town here, or it might have have more to do with might have something to do with Mayberry, the fictional Mayberry. No, I think it's just a I think it's just a old shed, kind of fixed up to be old looking, but this doesn't. Uh, oh. They're calling it the B. Darling Farm. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, Mayberry Union High. Oh, that's like a carpet store in there. It's the B. Darling Farm. And I don't think... I don't think that opens. It's not open to the public, I mean. <laughs> What's this contraption over here? Water collection for the steel. All right. Now there is a Mayberry Museum just up around the corner here. We're gonna go over to that. Hey, look, right here behind the uh, Wally service. It's actually a pretty nice hangout here with tables and a big giant uh, grill. Let's just take the uh, this other way around in case we in case we miss something. There's a lift out, outside here. All right, we're back to Wally's service truck. Or Wally, yeah. Goober says, "Hey, hey." <laughs> oh wait, I want to see if we can. Uh, Oh, wait a minute. I want to see if there's uh, the squad cars over here. I think the squad car tours are over here around the corner. I didn't I didn't notice any cars outside, though. I'd really like to see a squad car. Well, if they don't have any squad cars out, I think this was the building that they're... This is what it showed on the maps. Could be wrong. Huh, that just looks like a private residence. Now, surely... 
we've got to find a squad squad car in town somewhere yeah if we don't find out where i think there's actually four they actually have four cars for doing tours but if we don't find one of them or all of them at the uh at the tour place maybe we'll just see one driving around town <laughs> Oh, there it is. Is that Andy and... Is that Andy and, uh, Barney? <laughs> uh, where is it? Can I pass it? Okay. We are on the right path now. And the Griffith Museum. Exhibits and... Alright. So, I don't know about you, but, you know, these older shows, you know, like the Waltons and, uh... Andy Griffith show some of my just still some of my favorites but you know back in the day I tried to never miss an episode I remember most of the family saying run the TV when the, those shows were on this is nice how they uh, have this whole museum laid out it's it's all uh, you'll see in a minute when I turn it around here it's on this big screen they this cycles through different uh, all different shows and movies and stuff he's been uh, he's been in but let me turn you around here they have this all uh, you know these the way they have the structures built is all like made very well over here yeah like this yeah it's fake wall but it's like the uh it's like the courthouse um kind of style And these shirt. Um, you know what I got whenever I checked in, whenever I paid my admission. I got a, a sticker. A share a Mayberry sheriff sticker. <laughs> There's uh some stuff. Uh, you know, memory Barney Five or Don Knotts. That was his that was his fixing. Get all fixed up nice suits. <laughs> yeah. There, that was uh, this is Otis's section, I guess. You know, the uh, the gel bars and Otis's old suit and torn hat. There we go, there's Otis. There we go, there's his own set of keys. He was such a regular, as a second home. No, that's just a facade, that's, oh, they might have on the back side. You know, they're kind of a replica. They have their own version, I guess, here. The office. That's what the other the other office lack was the uh, gun cabinets. Uh, yeah, and Floyd's uh, Floyd's barber shop. Although I don't see Floyd in here anywhere. There's a Ronnie Howard. Uh, pictures the color book. These dresses had to bend. Who were the girls? Barney's girlfriend and Andy's. One was Thelma Lou and I forget. I have to think about that. Oh yeah, back to Andy's office. Yeah, they do have a episodes here playing or different scenes. He's at season one through eight on DVD available in the gift shop. <laughs> Barney, Andy, Thelma Lou, Aunt B and Gomer. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> 
for like a copyright strike or something on my video. And of course, Andy was a uh, uh, bluegrass and gospel and country singer. Some sort of combination of all those. This is a pretty big building, I thought. I thought we'd, uh, I thought there'd be more to it. That's an emergency exit. Did I miss something? And, uh, employees only. Uh, there's, oh, there's a picture of the Darlings up there. Again, they're, uh, the name of the band is actually the Dillards. In, uh, in real life. Alright. You remember a couple episodes they showed that there was actually a motor, uh, police motorcycle. <laughs> There's a sidecar. No similarity to it. But, uh, I think Don Knotts actually drove it. Yeah, it wasn't a stunt guy. But Don Knotts was actually could drive a motorcycle with a sidecar on it. I, th I think these the exhibits. I, I think this whole Mayberry thing, the exhibits. Uh, you know, this even though this museum, I'm a little disappointed in its size. Uh, a little deceiving because this is a giant building that it's only that little section uh, but maybe there's more but um, being such it's just uh, but I think it's like really well done you know uh, along with back at the other the other place where we first stopped at I think they're very well done I'm very I'm very pleased I like that yeah this is a little bit uh, something different there's a Siamese twins exhibit an art studio and a Betty Lynn exhibit I might poke my head in here for a minute Uh, so, Betty Lynn, uh, that was, that was Barney's girlfriend. Yeah, her. I think, maybe I'm getting uh, the girlfriends mixed up. Yeah, I'm sure it was. And there's uh, more about her and, and uh, her background. <laughs> I wonder if I could do that. I don't know anything about the Siamese twins. I don't know who they were or what the significance. Maybe they played some major role. They had to been. Or maybe they're just from this area. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the significance is of, of this exhibit. Well, isn't that a nice portrait? <laughs> I think that's going to conclude the Mayberry thing. Uh, maybe I'll catch something like if we might go around town a little bit, maybe on the way out of town, maybe we'll, maybe there'll be another attraction yet. Uh, maybe we'll get a better look at the squad car, a squad car. At least we caught one in the dash cam, right? <laughs> we are going to continue pushing south because uh, we're just on the front edge of the cold weather. We're just in the days coming too. It's uh, it's going to get rainy. I don't know if we're going to be able to avoid it or not. It might be pretty widespread, but we're going to push on to the south, try to stay ahead of it, and uh, try to s keep up with the temperatures because the cold's moving in too. So, all right, we're going to see what we come across on the way out of town. Bella, Bella. <laughs> Boy, I need to clean these windows. 
All right. I'm gonna let Bella out here just for a few minutes. I'll be right back. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like this sort of thing. Um, I gotta say that the the Mayberry experience to me was uh, was better than the Walton's Mountain. Uh, for you know, I just I don't know what it was about Walton's Mountain. I just I don't know. You know, it was cool, but it just but the Mayberry one, um, even though it's in the middle of this Mount Air, is a pretty busy place two lane the highways and stuff through time um you know while you are there there's just more of a feel of you're kind of pulled back in that little town and you know you just you sense that 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 time you know that town and the time you know it just has a, that, a better feel to it and even though walton's mountain is actually or you know the walton's Muse the museum and even though that's actually on a mountain you know it seems like the surroundings are more authentic um, it just didn't seem to have that feel you know, I don't know what it was about it um, but oddly this this did it, it put more of a smile on my face and I, I enjoyed it better um, so you know there's that for what it's worth I may have been a little critical on the, the Walton's Mountain thing I didn't, I didn't mean to um, it just kind of wasn't what I was expecting and I don't know what to say about expectations. <laughs> There's that. I keep that in mind too. Anyway, uh, all right, we're out of we're we're out of here. So I'll I'll be we'll be back soon with something or another. I don't know of any more like you know TV show or movie locations uh, in the area, but you know I'll keep an eye out for them. They're they can be interesting and nice to reminisce. You know, I'll see you next time.